Today marks 60 years since President John F. Kennedy's assassination right here in downtown Dallas. And in today's Giggy Bites, Sean Giggy shows us how one infamous landmark plans to remember one of the most shocking days in American history. History doesn't always repeat itself, but it will Wednesday. And we'll try to make everything as, as, as original as possible and, and, and talk about that day. The day. Lee Harvey Oswald walked into the Texas theater after killing President Kennedy and Dallas police officer J.D. Tippett. Wednesday marks 60 years since Oswald was apprehended while sitting right here. And virtually every day since, people have stopped by wanting to catch a glimpse of this infamous landmark. Oftentimes I'm here doing work and I leave and there's a tour guide out front talking to so-and-so about what happened that day. To commemorate the theater's history, owner Barack Epstein says they're recreating it. The two films that were playing that day will play again Wednesday. War is hell and cry of battle. At the same times and the same price, 90 cents. Some people believe had Oswald paid that 90 cents, he may never have been caught here. He was apprehended in large part because the manager of a local shoe store saw Oswald sneak into the theater without buying a ticket. The manager told the box office attendant, Julia Postal, some guy was trying to get a free movie, so she called police. After Oswald's arrest, Postal and the shoe store manager were interviewed by authorities. Wednesday, those interviews will come to life. The people who were at the Texas Theater that day, we've got to have them basically reading their transcripts uh, as actors on stage. The theater will also show the documentary Rush to Judgment and end the day with Oliver Stone's JFK. And if you're wondering, why would they go to such lengths to commemorate one of Dallas's worst moments? Because, Barack says, it was also one of its best. This was where something positive happened. This is where Dallas police apprehended the bad guy. Everyone remembers the villain, but it's the heroes we should never forget. In Dallas, I'm Sean Giggy. Now you can't actually sit where Lee Harvey Oswald sat. The seats from that day were removed decades ago. They're no longer in the building. And we did more digging into the WFAA archives to give you an even more extensive look back at what happened in Dallas 60 years ago, and we're sharing it all on WFAA+. On Tuesday, we're replaying previous stories about the assassination. And then on Wednesday, you can actually catch WFAA newscasts from 1963. We're also re-airing our coverage from before and after the shooting, including showing the famous uh, Zapruder film, which is uh, 26 seconds of footage that captured images once thought to be too graphic to show. You can watch it all on our streaming app at WFAA+, Plus, which is available on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV, something definitely that you might want to see.